Good morning, everybody. This is Philip Carter. It's about 1043 in the Washington, D.C. area, East Coast time. And I just uh, just came on here impromptu today just to share something with you um, as an independent artist, as an independent owner. First of all, I want to let you know um, I am the founder of this page and the co-founder of the Independent Gospel Arts Alliance Conference. You can register today. It's the greatest conference you could ever go to as an independent Christian artist or gospel artist. You will learn so much. It'll make your head spin. I um, also want to shout out the North Carolina Gospel Announcers Guild Convention that's taking place, I believe, June the 12th through the 14th. You can also register for that as well. It's a great conference if you want to go learn some things as well. Um, but listen, my former distributor called me yesterday, and here's what he said. Um, he said, hey, Philip, how you doing? I said, hello, how you doing, Bugs? Long time no see. And he said, uh, Capitol Records called. A capital distribution called and said we we have 600 copies of your product left in our warehouse and i said oh is that right he said yes and we need to ship it back to you at your expense and so um i said and i'm and i have had it happen to me before so i do understand the process i said well okay i said well that needs to happen um so you know i have to pay to get the product shipped back from capital records back to my house where I store my product um, and let that be a lesson. I, I, I'm giving you this personal information from my business to yours just to ask you a question. Are you really ready for distribution? Because how distribution works is if you get major distribution, national, international distribution, whatever you don't sell, whatever they don't sell on your behalf has to be shipped back to you at your expense. And so you have to be ready. And here's the other thing. If you were to sell out or if you were to have a big hit on the radio and they call you and give you an order, uh, let's say of three, 4,000 records, are you ready for that? Are you prepared for that? Are you financially prepared to facilitate that order? Um, so these are just things that you should know as an independent artist. Distribution is not as important as it once was because of streaming, because people have, stuff is not in the stores, but people still do distribute records. I went to Walmart. I still saw people's records on the shelves. I saw new records on the shelves. So CDs are still there, although they're not as important. So, um, you know, they called me and say, hey, we still have, you know, 600 copies of your record in our warehouse and we need to get it. We need to get rid of it. We're going to trash it. Or we'll send it back to you. And of course, I wanted them to send it back to me because I sell stuff, you know, out of, the, out of the trunk of my car as well as in the stores. But it gets it has to come back to me at my expense. They're not going to give it, they're not going to ship it back to me free. I have to pay for the product to come back to me at my expense. And so, you know, just if you ever go through this process with distribution, just know that whatever you don't sell, you have to pay for. So that let that be the lesson of today. Not sure how many of you have had that experience. Not sure how many of you all even desire to go that high in your ministry. But if you do, these are just some business things that do happen while you're in the industry, regardless of what genre of music you're in. Um, if you have any kind of physical distribution, whether it be CDs, vinyl, whatever, whatever the new thing may be, you need to know that whatever you don't sell, you have to uh, pay for at your expense coming back to you. So it's great to have a great marketing plan. Um, this is the first time I have had this many, this much product back in the warehouse that I did not sell, but it's good because even though I have to pay for the product to come back, it comes back to me at a severe discounted rate. And two, I get to still sell it when I do my workshops and concerts all across the country. And that's why it's important to, to keep working as an independent artist behind the scenes. All your work does not have to be in public. You keep working. Churches, churches, churches make the difference. People are still going to church and they're still buying products. So let that be the lesson for today. I want to encourage all y'all to register for the IGA conference. The awards is coming up. It's going to be phenomenal July the 11th through the 13th. All right. Everybody have a great day.